before I go into much more detail as to what we're going to do here in Monrovia, I'd like to introduce a few important people. Um, representing the city of Monrovia, we have our mayor, Rob Hammond. Uh, we have uh, Councilwoman Marianne Lutz. And in the back, we have our city manager, Scott Ochoa. Again, from Sierra Madre, uh, Fire Chief Steve Heidorf. Uh, from the Fireman's Fund, uh, we'll hear a little bit more from, uh, from her, Angie Rosetta, who is the Territory Sales Director. And uh, Kelly Provoy, the Communications Relations Manager, the one that's going to get into the have made this uh, day possible from uh, Sweet and Crawford, Jeff Coles, the Senior Vice President. <laughs> and lastly, in the background, uh, the man who was instrumental in this uh, opportunity to identify uh, Monrovia and Sarah Madre for this grant, uh, Mr. Michael Moreno, the President and CEO of CFA Thank you. Split the money between uh, equipment, and we're going to be purchasing uh, two handheld thermal imagers uh, that are life-saving equipment that the firefighters use in the, in the event of a structure fire to search for victims that may be down. And what's really important and unique here is that our existing equipment is 10 years old, and it was due to expire in two months. And we made the order yesterday. It's going to be delivered in 30 days, and we're going to be able to replace that equipment, and it's like uh, really something they wouldn't think they were doing. Thank you very much for that. We're also going to be spending money on a community wildfire protection plan. And for, that, for those of you that don't know, Monrovia has a lot of urban interface. We have 900 homes that abut into the urban interface that are a uh, potential threat in the event of a wildfire. We're going to use the money to create a plan to better prepare those homeowners on things that they can do for evacuation, for building um, built-in fire protection practices and building standards that directly relate to safety and hopefully can keep their insurance premiums low. So that will be a good tie-in as well for the insurance companies. So, that, so that's what we're doing here in Monrovia. But I want to dominate the afternoon, so I'll turn it over to Steve and let him talk a little bit about what he's going to do, and then we'll kick it over to Angie to continue the day. I also want to thank Fireman's Fund and Mike from CPRO. Uh, in being from a very small department, $30,000 is a fairly actually good chunk of what our budget is. And what we're going to be spending it on is um, there are new fire shelters that we have. We have not purchased the new fire shelters because they're a little bit well, they're expensive and stuff. So we're going to outfit everyone with uh, fire shelters. We're also going to be using it for our radios. We're going to have to get two of our the new X to get thousand radios there. And also, we've gone through, and because of budget crunches and stuff like that, we haven't been able to buy uh, the fittings and nozzles that break and we lose and stuff. So we'll be re-outfitting our engine with uh, new fittings and nozzles. And again, I just want to thank Fireman's Fund. It really does help, especially small fireman's fund. I work with Jeff Coles at Sweat and Crawford to help promote our project, which is the commercial, personal, and construction insurance across the United States. And SEBA is one of our customers through the Coles Wholesaling Agency here at Broker. Um, I'm proud to be here. Fireman's Fund has given away a lot of money or granted a lot of money in the last four years, I guess, since 2004. We've given away over $21 million to over 1,100 fire stations across the United States and almost $6 million to the state of California. So, you know, we want to push Jeff because we're trying to get that helicopter that cost $3 million <laughs> and give it to some fire station somewhere. Um, but Fireman's Fund was founded on the mission to support the fire service. We've been around since 1863. And we know what you guys do every day to save our property and our businesses, but most importantly, our lives. And we know you sacrifice your lives to do that. And we can't give you enough to let you know how much we appreciate it. Um, and with that said, um, thank you, Jeff, and thank you, Siva. I'm going to introduce Mike from Siva, who is the president and CEO, to say a few words. We'd like to thank 
Washington Firemen's Fund for allowing us to participate in this program. Uh, this is the second year that we've uh, been able to do this. And um, this year with the events that are going on and, and, uh, and all, we're extremely pleased that the, the timing is right to recognize you guys for the job that you do. Um, in a smaller town, Sierra Madre, Monrovia, um, often get overlooked in the recognition of praise. This is our way of recognizing you guys the job you're doing, and uh, we say thank you. So, job well done, and uh, thank you again.